Hello dear friends, now here we are going to discuss splash lubrication system. In the last video, as we already discussed about the wet sump lubrication system. Now here we are going to discuss the another variety under wet sump lubrication system and that is nothing but called as a splash lubrication system. So this is very much same as per the wet lubrication system but there will be a some modification in the wet sump. So with the help of this diagram we are going to discuss about the splash lubrication system and why it is called as a splash lubrication. Here we are going to understand. So the similarly the oil reservoir is there or oil wet sump is again there where the amount of oil can be stored or where the amount of lubricant oil can be stored and there is one oil strainer and then there is one oil pump. So from the oil strainer the initial impurities are present in the oil it will be get removed with the help of the oil strainer and from the strainer that amount of uh, oil come inside the oil pump. So from the oil pump as the pump is a device which is used to increase the pressure of the oil and from the oil pump that amount of uh, lubricant oil will supply to this particular common line. So here is that particular line which is uh, connected over here. So to this amount of oil comes inside this oil trucks. Okay, so these are four, one, two, three, four. Let us consider suppose four cylinder engine is there or the multi cylinder engine is there. In that case, the four oil trucks are there which are fitted just below the crankshaft itself. So let us consider suppose uh, here is that particular crankshaft and this is the camshaft and uh, this is the piston and cylinder assembly. So piston will always uh, reciprocate inside the engine cylinder and one more additional arrangement which has been made over here this particular uh, connecting rod of the piston which has the uh, one splasher or at the end of this particular portion of the connecting rod there is one specific shape or specific tip is there that is called as a dipper or splasher. So in this case what happened as the oil traps are there the from oil strainer the oil comes inside the oil pump and from the oil pump that amount of oil comes inside the oil trough so as per the capacity of the oil trough the amount of oil can reservoir inside the oil trough and as the crankshaft will start to operate as it movement that time the piston will again start to reciprocate inside the engine cylinder and the one time will come that time the deeper dips inside this particular oil trough as it will dips inside the oil trough the amount of oil splashes over the different sections of the engine. That's why this system is called the splash lubrication system. This particular deeper or splasher which dips inside the oil trough, one, two, three, four. These are the different oil troughs for the each and every engine cylinder. And as this particular uh, point deep inside the oil trough the amount of oil splashes over the different engine components and again it will be collected inside the oil strainer directly so this is called the splash lubrication system again there is also one oil pressure gauge which indicates the what the kind of rise uh, inside the component or inside the assembly of this lubrication system the rise in the pressure sometimes the pressure will be beyond the limit so definitely there should be a requirement to reduce the pressure inside the system itself so this will be done with the help of the pressure regulator wall which are again fitted with this particular system so this is nothing but called as the splash lubrication system so i hope you understood this particular system so thank you so much for watching